Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters for the Sony PlayStation 1. We completed the Moon Valley in the last video, and we are now heading into Elmer's Domain. So without any further ado, let's begin, and let's conquer the Viking Era. Welcome to Elmer's Domain. Before we go over here, we can go up to this door and open it just by walking into it. By spinning this around, we can move the mirror to where the little portrait of the present moon is. By doing this, we can open this cage, which will allow us to get a 25 gear. Be sure to look around the room as well. Because there will be barrels that you will need to hit. And was this a... Well, you had to keep rotating it until you hit, until you open that anyway. But pretty simple enough. But as I was saying, do look in the corners for barrels and break them. Because you are going to need what's in the barrels to complete the stage. That was not a good idea. I thought I could clear that with Taz and I could not. Also, I went where the coin was. Let's try this again. What we need to do is throw bugs over to here. Picking them up with triangle, throw them with square. And from here, we're gonna switch to bugs and we're gonna get everything that's here. Let's make sure we break all of these barrels so that way we don't have to worry about getting much of anything. Now all we need to do is just throw bugs to the other side and we are done. And I accidentally hit or touched the microphone. Anyway, the game tells you, have you ever tried bowling? You need to get some distance between you and the Viking guards. Hold triangle until you go into the rolling attack and then roll into the Vikings. It doesn't matter which one you hit. You hit one, you hit them all. Now it's time to go over here, but first... I am going to have to go over there. Okay. Well, we can wait. I'm going to wait for the Vikings to go all the way over there. And I'm going to make sure that I do that. So that way, I can clear a path to get Taz over here. Now, I believe you need to throw bugs over here. And then get Taz over here. You need to get both of these characters on the button so that way you can open this door now here I believe you just have to check the corners and then you can summon Taz to get up there I want to make sure that I check the walls for anything that I can grab so that way I don't have the backtrack and look for more look, look for much of anything All right, we got everything we can. I don't know if that's everything. Whoa. Um, camera, can you cooperate, please? That's a little better. Did I miss anything on the way? I hope I didn't. It would be a little rough if I did. I think, yeah, this is all that I could get to. All right. Wanting to be absolutely sure. And you do want to leap around here because there is a gap there. Now we're going to get into this door. And this is the room I was thinking of. 
So... We need to position the mirror here so that it's facing upstairs. Grab everything that's down here. That way we don't miss anything. And then, we should be able to rotate this mirror by attacking it. So we can open this gate. And we will have a fun time when we open this gate. There's another crate here. We might as well go ahead and kick it. Just to be safe. And do not want to fall down on the way over here. Now. You don't necessarily need Taz for this. But he does help. If you need help getting up here. Alright. We need to grab the edges and make sure we pull ourselves up with up on the control pad. That way, we can get up here. And there are a lot of gears that we can grab. And we can drop down here to make it safer to get back. Now, I'm going to turn back, or rather switch back to Taz. So that way it's a little easier to, well, get back here. And we got some more of these guys. We also have a fork in the road once we get past these guys. We can either go to the right or we can go towards that thing, that little fortress that looks like a face. I want to go towards the fortress that looks like a face. Can I do this in time? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's make sure we grab the gears. Did I open this? I want to make sure that I open this. Yeah, we were here. Okay. Stop it. Need to remember to let go of the D-pad as soon as the screen, screen fades. That way I don't get back in. Now here, you do want to jump from platform to platform. You do want to jump from edge to edge because there are going to be gaps here. That much is certain. This place is not exactly friendly. There's our third crate. The fourth one isn't going to be much further away, really. I do actually you know what, because I can see that from here. I might as well grab it. There's a fourth crate here. And I do want to drop down here for 25 gears. Now, this part can be easy to miss if you're not paying attention. You can jump up here on the nose, and you can pull bugs up. And by doing this, you can find the last lost person. We also find a clapper in here as well. And here's another fiver on the other side. You want to make sure you get that too. All right, we should be able to leap over here. And can we get in here? A balance. This could be fun. It's especially fun when you know what to do. You want to get bugs on this side. And you want to jump on the other side with Tass. I'm going to beat bugs right here as I explore. So that way... When it comes time to explore and get all that over with, I'll have bugs where I want them. So that way, when I'm done, I can leap up these stairs, leap onto the seesaw, and there we go. This will leap, this will have bugs leap to a switch, and you can get in here with Tass. All right. You need to be careful on the way. All right. There are some gears in these barrels. You want to make sure you get them. And there's 389. I hope I got everything. Well, we'll find out sooner or later. So for this part, 
you want to stand in front of these targets while these guys charge at you. You'll be trapped in here until you break all these little target walls. Once you get one guy running towards you, head to the next target. Once you break all three of these things, all three of these guys will just run and plummet to their deaths. So, with them out of the way, we can now run around and grab some gears. I'm about to say, there should be a one somewhere. 435, 440. 465. And I'm pretty sure the last of these things will be here. We have everything. Now we just need to beat Elmer. And it will take a little bit of doing to figure out what you need to do, but you can do it. And just where do you think you two are headed? Well, uh, you are after the Golden Hammer, aren't you? Well, you can't have it. It's mine, mine, mine. Say, Taz, did you order roasted duck? What's up, Doc? More oh, intruders. I'll teach you once and for all not to defy the mighty Elmer Fuddinson. And now we need to face Elmer the Viking, or Elmer Fuddinson. The swimmels on the switch must mean something. These yellow ones, you can just jump on. But other ones will have other symbols. Once you get Elmer down to your level, just get close enough and then... You just want to... Stay away from him when he swings the hammer. Once he gets stuck, grab the hammer, take it to a triangle, and you can hit one of the triangles here with the hammer. You're going to have to hit all six if you want to free the time gem. Now we need to find out where Elmer is next. And he's right here. We need to jump on the yellow switches and spin on the green one. Once you get Elmer down, you'll have to switch to bugs. Get close enough to that he swings the hammer. Then kick him, grab the hammer, hit the triangle, just like last time. Oh, you also want to make sure it's not lit up, otherwise you can't hit it. You can't hit a triangle that you've already hit, because it'll be lit up and you can't hit the lit up ones. So don't try it. Also, we need to use that. All right, where, where'd you go? Should be over somewhere. Jump on the yellow. Spin on the green. And from there, you quickly need to get in. Bugs, I need you to go in. I wish I knew. There we go. Once you hit this from underneath, you'll get rid of the last part. You don't have to worry about jumping on it again. Thankfully, once he's down, you don't have to worry about anything rising back up. You want to make sure you hit the three switches fast. Otherwise, you'll have to hit the switches all over again. And then... So, yeah, you need to be quick on hitting these. You need to be quick on hitting these switches or else you'll have to start all over again. Now the blue ones. You need to stand on. In order to basically deal with. 
You actually want bugs? Bugs? As I was saying, you need to stand on the blue things, the blue buttons, and have Elmer strike them with the thunder in order to trigger them. Also, it, it, uh, you do not have to get very close to Elmer at all to get him to swing at you. Also, Bugs, I need you to hit the triangle. Bugs. Bugs! Are you kidding me? Okay, we need to get back. Thankfully, I kept Tad's pretty close by, so that way I can remember where I need to go in order to deal with Elmer in the first place. And I can just take my time getting to Elmer. And then I can try this again. Good grief, that shouldn't have been so difficult. The and there's only one left. The oh, and apparently... The apparently where you're standing when he starts speaking, that is going to be where the tar well the thunder strikes not completely aware of that I am now and let's do this one more time and apparently he swings three times before you can do it one last time and there we go Excellent. We have no time to lose. I have detected Daffy in the time gem. The duck is in the Uranian era. You've collected enough gears to go there. Let me open the door first. And we have opened up the third world of the game, the Arabian era. Of course, before we can go over there, we have to head back to the shore village. Now, thankfully... I have everything, which is good. So now, we just need to find the rabbit hole, and it'll take us back to the Viking era hub world. And once we are back at the shore village, there is one more thing we can do. Besides get health. And that is to collect the 100 gear. The crystal gear that's in the center of the village, kind of. Where in the world is it? There it is. We now have 50% of the game done. And I am going to spend the remainder of this video heading back to Granik. Let's go ahead and return to Granik. We are halfway done with this game now. All we need to do now is just head to the Arabian area. Which should be not there. But over there. Close to where we had to deal with the dog. Let's head over there. All right. We now have 50% of everything. We are doing quite well for ourselves at the moment. And I'm beginning to wonder how much of everything we have left. We'll soon find out. 
We're now in front of the Arabian era. The third world of the game. And we are going to be heading there in the next video. So join me next time where we head to the Arabian era and take on yet another new set of challenges. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!